All right, welcome back to another animation analysis, and this time it's the trailer for Raya and the Last Dragon. And if you're new to this channel, I'm going to preface this. This is a moment where I will analyze things, but also react. And now it's not the the uh, kind of overdone animator react type of thing, but come on, sometimes there's some cool stuff, and you're going to hear me say, oh, instead of, this frame has a line of action of blah, blah, blah. So it's going to be a bit of a mix. And yes, I do those things. And if you're new to my channel, I do things like animation analysis like these. I do active analysis clips. I do lectures and rig reviews and prog reviews, all kinds of things. So if that's something that you like, maybe you watch this in full, you feel like that's cool. You can subscribe, of course, if you want to. But let's not waste more time. Let's go back to the beginning. And I'm going to take a look at this trailer. We have a tweak on the Disney castles. Put the castle up here, though. That's cool. I'm always a big fan of changes in logos. Why not? All right. We got our first glimpse of a character. We know it's the character, but I'm looking at things like that's cool. I'm always a big fan of a little extra piece of animation. That's cool, too. You got to look at the properties of that, how it's animated. There's a little bit of a give there. However, that structure is of this, but you have to look at it's a slight move this way. I talk a lot about one axis to my students about movement so that you don't just move out your arms in one axis and then your body kind of stays put. You can see it's a little bit of a move this way, a bit of a settle there, even on a small shot like this. Not fully extended to be a pop on the shoulders. It's all important mechanics to look at. We have a wall. <laughs> There's not much I can say about this wall here. Ooh. Finger animation. Yeah, it's cool. You can see the the overextension on the fingers and then coming back and settling into another pose with a slight hold. You can see a little bit of movement there. Same thing here. This is also just showing you the full mechanics of, like it would be not uncommon for a student shot to pull this and you have arm movement going this way and you might pull cloth or anything and maybe some movement there, but you have to think in terms of, it's not just pulling this up here. It's also this arm pulling down to get that that cloth piece, glove, whatever you want to call this. I'm going to be ignorant about the term here, pulling up there. But if you push that arm down, it is going to also have an effect on the chest. Now, this is a bit exaggerated in terms of how much the chest and arm move, because as you can see, it's also a lens change. It also kind of zooms in a little bit for extra dramatic effect. But it's cool to see. You can also see how the fingers are slightly straight here, going into a squeeze and a bend and you can see with a little relaxation and change in those fingers. This goes all into the frame by frame work on a close up that you want to do. And again, full body mechanics. So if I move my arm, it is going to affect the chest and the torso. That's cool. Cool to see here. That is going to be always a pain to animate. Whoever did this, I always feel bad for props and constraints there. But it's still, you can see this here. It's not just arms moving to do this. There are all kinds of stuff going on here that is really important for students to look at in terms of little details. It's all very fast. You don't have to be super precise on those fingers. It's also in shadow and dark, but clean silhouette here at least. It's not so much important here, but clean silhouette on the extension for the re-grab. And you can see this as it re-grabs and arm goes up, it is all going with the shoulders going up. And also common that students do a lot of shoulder movement. Actually, not enough shoulder movement in student work, but when they do, there's a big danger of just animating those controls up and then that's it. And you can see here how is there's a stretch in the chest here in the upper body region and moving forward a bit. So again, we have to think about if you move an arm, it is going to fan out throughout the rest of the body in terms of influence. So you can see this here, all of that is moving. It's not a separate move just in that arm. You got the shoulders going up, you got a little adjustment in the head and because the head is moving, you can see all of that is moving as well. It's cool. That is, I'm assuming. I wonder if anybody who did the, the trailer can comment here. I'm curious, is that something that gets simple later? This seems simple where you have a controller here to move out the cloth here. A little snap zoom, a little cut there actually. Into that, but you can see this here. Again, not one axis. You don't want to go down. You can see this. And as the hands off screen let go and maybe go up, you can see how this goes up as well. You have to think about what are the mechanics of holding this. And even if it's off, off screen and you take them, you know, you let the grip go, how is that going to affect the rest of the prop there? Hold on, I'm framing through. There seems to be like a full stop. Maybe they cut out a bit late. Is there like nothing going on here? A little bit, tiny bit or not. I might be looking into things. More prop stuff. 
this might just be animated by hand with scale, but you can see this is not a solid piece. This, has, this is going to have a bit of stretch and you can see this here, how the hand comes out and overshoots, boom, and it comes back a bit. A slight settle there, all kind of detail stuff you want to look at. And by now, you know what I will say, you pull this, it's going to affect the chest, the shoulders, the head, all of that's going to do an overall change in the body. You can see how all those things are moving. Actually, even you might have a push on that fist on the ear. And as that goes away, you can see that ear expands there. And it's cool asymmetrical because you don't have it here. So lots of little stuff to look out if you're doing ding, if you're doing that type of body animation and detail work. You can see this here, so that'll ease in on the eyes there. And of course the secondary stuff it's some dragon overlap there it's cool all extra things not distracting it's still dark enough that you still have to focus with the light to be on this there's a little bit of animation there it's cool just seeing that that close up then we got this very body mechanics heavy trailer this is there's not much to see here it's all in the shadow silhouetted still cool to see that's always good to see when someone jumps. Don't forget, you need a full extension for the push off on the leg. That's again something that I comment every now and then on student work. Make sure that when you jump, and you're, you know, if you go into a, a squash for like, you're, that's a horrible drawing. Not that I'm better at this here, but you squat and to push off. But what you don't want to do is then jump and have your legs still be bent. Like that's super weird to jump like that. So whenever you jump, you still have a full extension on your legs, which is happening right here. You got your asymmetry and clean silhouette you got that that drag on the fingers with that arc there that's cool nice hand pose there slightly broken up but still technically simple for a clean shape but a little bit of complexity there as well so for any of you doing hand shapes and you can see there's a difference between this one and this one again for asymmetry Ooh, nice there at the end nicely posed out it's a clean silhouette Ooh, same here nicely done with the lighting you can still see the character with a slight stretch there into this almost reminds me of a animation mentor character just in terms of there's a ponytail the character anyway that could be any type of character but just give me a i thought i saw something similar on a uh, animation mentor showreel but clean again clean silhouette it's also blurry so you got to be very careful in what you accentuate because you can't see anything too much slight stretch again full extension on the landing you could offset by one leg or not. There's a slight offset there. And then you have, that's cool too. This is for anybody who's doing any type of jumping stuff. You have to think in terms of, that's your arc and, and the weight and momentum of this coming down. It can't just stick. And it's cool to see how it squashes and goes back up. Because again, it can't land. I mean, it could land and go this way, I guess, because that's your surface and it goes this way. But there's still a bit of a forward momentum in there. And you can see this here, how it goes up to the left. Ah, we cut out too soon. It's a bummer. I would have loved to see more of that settle there. But you can see this even here. Slight movement in this. You want to have a slight compression and a squash in there. You can see it pivots off the toes, the ankle out. It's really nice. Lots of cool detail. Even at the end, slight negative space there. It's all very clean. It's cool. Ooh. Environments. Always, always like seeing stuff like that. Goes into backlit for silhouette. It's a tough shot though. It's not super clear with the background it's got a tough one to bring in your silhouette so probably standing nicely still to see all of this you definitely clear here all the little draggy overlappy stuff on their hair this one was cool and play this in full here that's also a pain to animate whoever did this painful but cool you feel the change in elevation that change in the fingers that's cool and even at the end when it settles and pushes you can see a slight compression there it's always, always tricky. All that detail stuff in the fingers. Getting into another view and a full view. Ooh, nice. Look at that. You can see how that cloth is going to pull down the nose tip. You can see this here. Beep. Just a bit of that. If your rig allows for that type of nose control, the stretchiness, you could even be pushing the lip down a little bit and come back up. That's cool. Extra all little detail there. Slight ease in on the eyebrows. Nice and subtle. I think a little bit more of a concern face there cool too don't forget breathing a little exhale there not that the mouth is open but again for anybody doing that type of stuff most of you know students are watching this you got to really think about this might be a close-up but you can't forget the rest of the body even if it's framed like this think about what is your arm doing as this arm comes down 
you still have to continue with that arc so we can see this and as this arm goes back it is going to take the chest over this way and bring down that shoulder a little bit just don't forget just because it's off screen you can't just ignore that there's not much to see here Ooh. indiana jones da, da, da. oh close call <laughs> she needs indiana jones hat to pull back here cool yeah definitely very body mechanics heavy very silhouette heavy in this trailer you can see this also Nice. Ooh, nice with the toe up there. And you can see going back and see all the drag that has to happen in the hair. That must be a pain to animate. Whoever did this. <laughs> Rolling with stuff like this so it doesn't intersect and has just enough movement. That's also cool. Cool pose too. A little extra bend there. Still clean. A little stretch and a change in the body there. You can see how the chin moves just a little bit. That's cool. I was like that. That was a cool thing in the place in real time to see how it settles. See that? It doesn't stick. It just goes storm. There's enough. Because again, it's it's organic. It's fleshy. It's muscly. And, little, and it's not a foot down that has pressure where it might be like this might be in a groove here. This is going to slide a little bit. It's very cool. It's a little extra settle there. Again, nice clean hand pose. Get a bit something new. And you get your Disney sidekick. That was really cute. Lots of cool stuff here. I look at this and think, oh, cool. You're going to have all those plates moving, all those controllers. I just look at this and I wanted to animate this. Hey, cute. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Let's play this in real time. You can see the unfolding. Super cute. You can see the, all the offsets and that. Look at that. You got a little jaw arc there in this. Big dilated pupils for cuteness. Super cute. I'm already a fan of this. Nicely framed. You can still see the head, but you can see that little let go of the hand coming off a little bit off the ground. If I scrub, nah, it's too fast. Gonna look. Is there even stuff in the knee? Probably all kind of body stuff, but it's cute. This will be super cute to animate. You got your arc going into this. A little bit of a stretch there. It feels like a little bit of a stretch. Storing or squash there. Cute. This could have been an intern, probably. I wonder who animated this. Or a senior person who got this done in 10 seconds. Roll! <laughs> Roll that ball. Cute. Nice look, too. This is cute there. It's placed in real time. Yeah, look at that. You got, even on something simple like this, you think, eh, it's going to be a ball. You got that forward momentum, and it's going to stop. Hold that for weight. It still has to have enough weight to change direction and come back. And it changes into a different orientation because it wants to go into this Q opens up so we can see the eyes first and you can see that the lean is going here just enough again just enough weight to go back hold and then come forward that's cute too i like this that it goes paw first into a slide here offset with this one staying and this one sliding cool that's cool i like this place in real time it's great rhythm. If you look at this, just the, the overall rhythm of the roll going back, unfold, and move forward. Run, run, shh. Dip, dip, dip. Cool steps, cute. Little soft, cute steps because you got the head and the whole shell moving as one. Give you that cute little waddle. It's cool. Let me look at this one. This guy must be moving at one point, huh? Let's see. Moves, moves, moves. Yeah, there you go. You did. Little sound there, which freaks him out. You can even see a little bit of a squash and stretch there. It goes up with a little bit of a flutter for contrast. And the steps are a bit fast. Let me just check. Look at that. Wah, 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 wah. A bit fast. Yeah, yeah. It's all about changing and timing and contrast. It's cute. You even have those little guys moving separately. I don't I like that stuff. You might go, who cares? I love that detail stuff. It's, again, very bottom mechanics heavy. Here's your little move forward you can see how the elbow all of that is moving i just actually had to talk about this today and yesterday in my q a's uh for the classes just talking about the amount of frame by frame work that is needed and thinking about if this body goes down the compression on this all of that how it's going to change the wrist it's going to change the fingers all that extra little detail you got to be able to go in there frame by frame and look at the mechanics and what is needed oh so cute it's super cute let's go back here just a lot of work. When you want something like this, you've got your anticipation to go back even just a little bit, a little push off on those legs to come back up and then close the shell for a roll there with a slight lean as well on the side. 
Even that, see, I love stuff like that, where it's, this could be tempting to just go A to B. And then that's it, that's my B. <laughs> but no, he got a little bit of here. Actually, it's not that. What does she do? Oh, here, it hits this and goes up and bounces there. And again, it just adds just a little bit of contrast, something else, a little, a little bit of change. I can show this to one of my students. Like a student is doing something very similar where there's a cat here and there's a little rolly ball that hits the paw of the cat that bounces back. It's a good reference how that bounces back there. Boom. Again, we roll back. Ah, we cut out. Too bad. Q, Q, Q. And you can see the timing of the roll and hold. Wah! And drop. It's cute. A much faster drop here. Going into this. Really stopping pretty into this. Super cute. I love that too. Just that little delicate handling. You can see how she goes around it. Doesn't want to grab the face. Just goes around that. Very cute little turn. There's so much out of it you can see. She does that move, right? It's going to move that elbow up, which you know it's going to change that shoulder. You can see all the changes here in the body. All of this is still animated as they're leaning weight shifts, pivoting off the side of the upper body. And then you have that push forward. Still a slight change in the thumbs and in the wrist. That's just the amount of detail you're going to put in. It's cool, cool, cool. Weight shifts. Always someone going to do weight shifts when you're going to have your change in posture and your pelvis as you push this. Ooh, look at that, look at that. I'm, I'm always, when I see shots like this, I go straight for fingers and details. You can see the details there, offsets in the fingers. This is very classical. I don't know why, but that's especially for female characters, having two fingers in and the outside are out. Seems like a very, very common pose you see all the time. Well, here's another body mechanic shot. And again, this is something that I would show to the students. You bring your arms up. I'm repeating myself, but it bears repeating because it's something that a lot of people miss, where you bring your, your arms up, it's going to bring your shoulders up as well. And you can see that the compression there going back, it's going to change the upper body, all of that. Again, going back into you move this arm, it's going to influence the rest of the body. Even the head has a slight offset there, not offset, but a, a tilt back and then moving forward uh, for that. You want to stretch forward, bring this out, give room, right? It's going to be easier to pull this and give, make a room here. So you move that forward and bring the head forward with that. It's great. Clean silhouette on everything. It's very cool. Let me see the impact on this here. It's cool. Look at that. Look at that. It's compression. She leans forward. That means she has to hold this tighter. And you can see the grip. You can see the change in the fingers. It's subtle, but it's there. Very cool. This could be your modified weight assignment. She still has to pull and push. And again, nice. You got that lean this way for a nicer line of action. It's asymmetrical. It's not all static. Close up there. Ba, 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 title. Cool. Even this, I know I'm harping on this, but it's still composed in that. That's something also very common for students. It's asymmetry. Just don't mirror your poses. And you can see this. This goes down. This goes up. Even though it's somewhat mirrored, it's okay. It doesn't always have to be crazy in terms of asymmetry, but it already helps that the movements are different in a slight Slight turn in Y on the head, so it's not default straight towards us. I mean, also, she is looking right to left. Like, that's the established language throughout all of this. Right to left, right to left, right to left. So even on something like this, it is consistent in terms of right to left. Even if it's almost looking at us, that's the screen direction that's been established. So they're very consistent with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. As much as I love animation, I love seeing effects and the renders. That's cool. Also really interesting. Let's play this in real time. It goes up. <laughs> Look at this here. This is actually a stream that goes up. It's cool. Now, you know what's going to happen here. I'm looking at detail. You can see here a little slight change in the toes here and the compression. You can see it right there. Compress on the toes coming off with it. Nice. Again, not one axis, a foot roll in your channel activated. It has a move up and then a slight twist this way, pivoting off of here. I don't know, to me, all of that stuff matters. Just giving it a more of an organic, I don't say random feel, but just not the typical mechanical one axis CG feel. And as she goes up, you can see that lean back here, slight move there in the feet. Oh, again, technically, it's your triangle hand pose to some degree, as I can sloppily draw this. 
but within that you still have a detail. So it's not too complicated, but still complex enough to not to be too simple. And you can see that slight little change, has a slight little rotation there, a bit higher there, maybe even a bit bigger on that eye. They're giving us a slight triangle opening up, looking this way. Clean silhouette otherwise. I'm saying all this, by the way. Oh, of course, it's going to be nice. Disney animators, they know what to do. I'm just, this is for me an analysis and a reaction to things because I like it and I want to talk about it. But if there are any students watching this, actually today a student mentioned that they're watching my um, soul trailer analysis. And hopefully this is one of the reasons. Hopefully this is helpful to students watching this. I'm not lecturing any professional animators here. They know exactly what to do. This is more for people who are learning and maybe my subjective insight here uh, or objection, not objection, but uh, observation could be helpful here. Cool here. Look at that. That's what I talk about in terms of color silhouettes, right? It doesn't always have to be all presentational in terms of yay, clean body silhouette. This darker in front of that lighter piece there gives you the color silhouette. We still understand that that is the shape of the hand and the fingers. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. And again, the slight asymmetry change in the face. Tricky to do. Let's play this in real time. You got a very subtle move with a weight shift and then the stretching. It's almost like you want to stretch into like an awe, an awe thing. So you bring down the shoulders and you bring down those arms. It's like arms out, ready to fight, somewhat in awe, maybe distracted, where everything kind of streamlines, everything goes up into a bit of a softer look. But then concern. Oh, well, this is a uh, time jump here, but. Got that look into reveal, da da da, clean silhouette, of course. See, that to me, totally fine. Definitely mirrored, but totally fine. Also has a very strong triangle pose for stability, like a double triangle. Why not? That's cool. I'm always a fan of close ups here. You can see a little slight tilt. I'm a massive fan. If you listen to my analysis, especially if you remember, <laughs> any students watching this that have my class, you know I'm a massive fan of head accents and slight twists and things, which so is not A, not one axis, but just like a little. Little head accent is always cool. Little double thing here with the eyes. This is in real time. Watch him. Whoop. Nice. Well, just a little look here. What, what is she doing there? Tricky. It's just got to keep alive. Still enough going on. You can see the slight changes in the mouth shape. Still enough to make it squishy and alive. You can see this even here. Slight changes. Yes, yes, yes. Fingers. Love it. You got your offset there squeezing and you can see how it changes the prop you can see it here elbows go back everything is moving little detail stuff that just gets overlooked this is totally a trailer for me close-ups on fingers look at that here you can really see the offset of what each finger has to do and as it compresses you can see the roll the roll in the prop that is going to move backwards and you can see here the tension all in this it even squeezes the cloth a little bit Crazy, crazy detail. Nice clean silhouette and definitely going into heavy, heavy body mechanics. And this is cool because one of the things that I mentioned when people do creature work or any type of action, it's very common in student work to do a flat surface because it's easier and you can animate that easier and footfalls, whatever thing. But that is cool. Like I look at this and go, oh, that's cool. I want to look at this frame by frame because now the animator has to look at where does it fall? Is it slippery? I mean, it's also wet, right? So you look at the consistency or the uh, the texture, what this is all made of. You can see this in some of those moves. It's cool. That's a definitely a foot contact. Cool, like that, that too. A little nice silhouette there going up, pivoting off of that toe. Again, always clean silhouette. Nice body mechanics into a turn. He is very relaxed. <laughs> it's a test. It's a test. Ah, so subtle, but you can see that lean over. Maybe a bit more compression on those toes. Uh-oh. You can see that little spreading here of the toes as it goes up into a foot roll. Again, this is so a trailer made for me. Just for close-ups on compression. There I say I would put in more. More! I want more. I'm greedy. More compression on the toes as all of this moves over that foot here. You got a little compression there. Maybe even the rotation. I don't know. Like the foot roll goes out this way and then it goes this way. Pivots off like that. Cool though, all still doing this. Here you can see the change again. Lots of detail work in the toes. There I say, oh, push it, push it, push it. I know it's very arrogant lecturing here. What people are doing, I just love all that stuff here. Got your 
drag in your cloth again let's go back here clean this is so made for clean silhouette there i say i'm gonna be very sassy here and say move that wrist over with a slight change in the finger so it's not like this <gasps> i said it i said it i would change something i know very picky this is cool too i love seeing this here this seems to be probably later i'm gonna assume this is when she is younger because she clearly looks older if i go forward here that is an older face than what we have here so training also if that's not a uh, a tip off young and little and then where is it here where is it old and older there you go so clearly time has gone by but it's cool it's cool to see let's go back forward here the change of environments and we get into more quick cuts and different changes here yeah they got the weights don't forget as it comes down that's enough weight to go down and come back up and you can see you can see the squeeze in the fingers this is really really heavy on hands and fingers and toes this was cool looking at that in terms of um, camera so as you think the characters on this it's going to be uneven the surface uneven this is the shell creature here uneven so look at this this is a poe from the character you can see how the camera has a slight wobble up and down because it makes sense that's where she is on right on that thing won't won't it's nicely done it's a nice camera oh boy we are back to toes and fingers you got that on there i can push there i can see that you got a squash you can see how it's spread out for that compression on that oh nice Rawr into this you know one of these days i would love for disney to do a star wars movie fully animated lightsaber fully animated disney style star wars movie come on nice look at that it's blurry so you gotta really push those those eyes but you can really still see that that intensity I mean, the pupils are really low here but you read it you gotta push that on something that's really fast nice look at that held very cool sorry i'm gonna nerd out on this and just go frame by frame and look at this look at that nice a nice little stretch you got the curvature still in all of that Boom! into that impact Boom! and you can feel that here too watch that Boom! goes back it's very cool it's very cool i love all this stuff i know this is not now it turns more into a trailer reaction than a trailer analysis but i love it even here just it's tricky because you have stuff going in front of the face but you can see this we can still see the eye still see the eye at least one eye it's not completely hidden you still see there are that going into that shape here. you can see the line here really exaggerated face but you got to push that in a shot that's very fast and blurry it's very cool Ooh, different things that is the crowds team <laughs> that could be again a shot for interns all right i want you to place fifty thousand characters put in a facial expression and some keep alive there you go you're an intern let's go Gotta do that though. Someone has to do it. Ah, we're back. We're back to more mechanics. Again, again, even with the blur, you can see how it's not really covering the eyes. Just gotta be very careful when you do something where with any human, I mean also creatures, but we look at eyes, we want to know what the character thinks and feels. And you do too much that covers eyes, it's gonna be tricky. This is cool to see how even this, like I said here, it's not really covering the eyes too much. Even on that turn, look at that, there's an eye. It's always there. We can always read the emotion of the character. Look at that. That's awesome. Love that pose. Clean. Nice stuff there. Anyway, nerding out here. I love this. As much as I tell students, you know, like when you do martial arts or dancing, it's not that interesting just because it's mostly movement. I'm the first one to say if you do some cool action scenes and you still got the emotional, you know, you can see what the character feels, it's still super cool. It doesn't always have to be all super character driven with decisions. It's, I can absolutely nerd out on martial arts or just action scenes stuff like that full extension look at this nicely posed all the way down to the toes into that and then bam, you can see that impact get the drag in the head change of direction toe goes up look at this you can see all this all of that has an absolute tweaking of every frame Ooh, tricky one here let's go frame by frame with that foot lock here Oh, she means it. <laughs> she is in it. Oh, we go back. All right, we're back into the other place. Seems like two specific locations. Oh, it goes back into crazy stuff. I know, it's just really has devolved into just me reacting. I'm just a fan. I got to say, this like for me, this trailer is just all me mechanics, eyes and feet and fingers and details. You still want to see all of that. Ooh, 
you look at that, even something like this, it's not too simple. You still got each frame here is thought out into the lines and silhouette and movement. Uh oh, let's see here. Boom! The compression and impact. That's cool. Put this in real time. I like how the head stays. Watch this. And ah, oh, it's very short. Tough to see. But it was cool where it's not even touching. Like there's nothing. The ripple. She's still in enough control to not touch this. Although is she touching it? <gasps> is there something about the water that doesn't react? Is that a story point? I don't know. Fingers. Fingers, fingers, fingers. But there you go. Offset. It's not your typical default rake finger with even um, distance between the fingers. All of that you got to think about. There we go. We're back. Think about the finger. Sorry, my, my train of thought was cut off as I'm seeing detail. Arr, you got the facial shapes there. And she has to go down as anticipation to push up. Even if you don't see it, that's still the mechanic of going down and pushing. Arr, pushing up here. Let's see. Let's see again. Quick frames, blurry. You still got to push. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Full extension stretch. Nice. Into that. Look at that. Also beautiful pose. Again, sometimes you can't pose out for a clean silhouette, but the lighting here is helping for a somewhat lighting color silhouette. Look at that. It's very cool. Slow motion and... Ooh. It's a hard hit there. Boom. It's very fast. That's true. You want to animating that fast. Trailer cuts. Action, action, action. And then we have this come to a stop. I'm not putting in the sound, but she says, my name is Raya. But she's not really saying it. It's a voiceover. <laughs> but I don't put in the sound just because of copyright reasons. But hey, 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 fingers offset. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love it. Even on the unfold, you can see how much more the index is doing here. Again, back into a simple shape, but within that still enough complexity. Cool. Cool design. Looks cool. I love that world. That's really cool. I'm I'm definitely intrigued. I love this. Ooh. Transition. <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing to do with animation. But hey, look at that. You got your pose. It's not default. You got a slight lean over there. Even if something like this, a slight tilt. It's for anybody watching this, any students, you can analyze every frame. You can always get something out of each frame. Raya and the last dragon. And then we got the cutely sidekick. Like that, I look at this and go, all right, if a student on their reel is missing a weight assignment, there we go. Here's the weight assignment. It doesn't have to be a character lifting a box and it's boring to watch. Probably also boring to animate. Then I would say just find something like this. And I mean, don't copy it, but it could be a creature or something else. And look at that. I mean, this covers a little bit, but you can tell that there is that push going forward, compressed here. Nice line of action, pushing this up into that pushing off and again she has to push long enough to then let go of that foot to have enough momentum to go forward because you can't let go of that foot too soon because then there's not enough push and drive in terms of the balance to make this work but the thing is this becomes more about a cute moment there especially when they collapse here you can see how collapses you got the settle there arms comes down here arms come down for the for the swing but also the compression on the creature look at this Cute little wiggle on the feet, on the legs here. Boom. Compression on this. Come back up here into that. Super cute. That is just fun to watch. And again, technically, for students, this is a weight assignment. Then you get a little bit of pantomime lip sync. You think you can't quite I see pantomime, but you can't really see the lip sync too much. It's that small. The cute there with the sound here. Boom. Again, you're not hearing this, but it's a little thing. So yeah. So a student goes, I want to do a, a weight assignment. What should I do? I would say, listen, focus on, like, don't do a, a weight assignment where the box is here and the character is here. As in, we don't see the change in the spine as you go from grabbing something for a reverse, reversal on the spine, right? As you lift something argh, really heavy, argh, you want to see this more in profile, at least three quarter. So that's great. It's great staging. And it's not a, a boring box. It's something where whatever is a push or a lift has a specific property of, because it's round. And as you're done with the pushing, it's going to roll. And because of that, this is going to happen. It's just a fun extra little detail or just like a fun little added, you know, objective or just or a tweak on a weight assignment as I'm trying to find my words here. And that's it. Wah, wah, wah. In theaters, March 20, 
21 right quote unquote theaters we'll see hopefully things will be better or disney plus at one point probably maybe maybe not i don't know but i'm pumped i like this i like this the content i like the character i'm already intrigued and you might go another psychic character but you know what i love it this is on brand this is what they do but i love it i love the look love the creatures i'm in there i say i'm in and that's it i'm out as well because that's the end that's the end of my analysis slash reaction as some people say you're not really commenting it's more reaction it is i'm totally reacting and here's the dragon Ooh, don't see too much though nice that little anticipation there and doing this and that tail is going to follow that path it's very cool awesomeness till the very end i'm in i don't know i, I think it's awesome let me know in the comments what do you think i don't know like and subscribe you know the usual drill this is the end like and subscribe if you want to or comment or not but that is it for my analysis thanks for watching